Hello folks, I'm here at VJ's Cafe. My name is Victor Lease. Anyway, I, I enjoy cooking and, and uh, the VJ Cafe came about uh, by, uh, I guess for my wife and children because I enjoy cooking and I cook for a lot of big get-togethers we have and, and so on and so forth. And uh, years ago I, I got to cooking and, and enjoyed it and it's, uh, it acts as a stress relief for me but I enjoy cooking for everybody and uh, and the friends and family have seemed to like it. So anyway, I, I, uh, I'm by trade, I'm an oil producer, been in the oil business for 40 some years. And, uh, and I found that over time, uh, going to go in the kitchen and, and my stress goes away. If I have any stress going on, my whole mind goes into, into cooking, whatever I'm cooking. And, and uh, then too, I, I um, a lot of times I come up with my own concoctions or, or this and that. To, I have an idea about something that I've had in a restaurant or something and or something pops in my head and I put things together and so today what I've decided to fix is Chinese food and uh, the uh, so there's a little story behind this like most of the things I cook years ago I decided to uh, I like Chinese food it's a couple of places in Kansas City I enjoyed it and, and so I'd always have uh, Szechuan, whether it's chicken, beef, shrimp, whatever, but it's always a Szechuan. So I uh, decided that, that uh, one evening I'm gonna fix Chinese food for my family. And so I go to the store and I pick up all the vegetables and I decided I'm gonna have beef and chicken in this. And uh, so I come home and I prepare everything and, and do like I think I should do. I, I, so anyway, I take the bottle of Szechuan and I pour it out of the bottle onto the onto the vegetables and meat. I bring to the table, and it was so hot, there none of us could eat it. And uh, back then, I liked spicy food, but this was unbelievably spicy. So from that, I decided, okay, I uh, I got to do something to change this up and tone this down. So I just came up with the idea, okay. Uh, I'll use stir fry and sweet and sour uh, sauce and then spice it up with a Szechuan and uh, so the first time so then I did that and the kids and my wife and everybody really really enjoyed it and so uh, that's what I've been doing how I've been doing it ever since and as far as what you the, the, the meat I put today I'm making for you what I call my Szechuan uh, Chinese food and and with this, I mean, you can you can have one or two or three meats, whatever you or whatever you want in it, as far as that part goes. And so, that's what I'm going to fix for you today. So you probably tell this is the first time I've done this, but now that we're moving into the kitchen, where uh, my stress and and everything goes away, and uh, I'm more, much more relaxed. So anyway, what I'm going to start out with is on the uh, the meat and the chicken and the shrimp because that's what you're gonna do first to get it prepared to, so you can marinate it for one or two hours or overnight, whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna start out with that. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice this meat up nice and thin and uh, like this, and then I'm gonna let it get, a, get it thin like that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take and cut it in thin strips like this. Okay, now that we have the meat sliced up, we're gonna marinate it. And the marinade is going to be Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, celery salt, and garlic. The reason for doing this is that I would like my meat and and to have lots of flavor. Everything I cook, I want lots of flavor. So that's the reason I do that. So once I get the meat done, then I'm going to, uh, I got it in the marinade. I, I, I'm going to do the chicken. And uh, so uh, kind of the same way, I'm going to take a skinless chicken breast and and uh, cut it in strips, and then I'll uh, make it smaller strips once I do this right here, and I get this cut up, and then I'm gonna cut it, uh, that in half, and then I'm gonna cut it to where these are about an inch and a half long, is kind of what I'm going for. And then when I get this done, I'm going to, I'll marinate it, and, uh, and, uh, Teriyaki sauce, celery salt, and garlic again, and uh, on it, which is a little different. I like kind of like the teriyaki flavor with the chicken, 
and uh, and the celery salt. As you notice, I've used celery salt in both the uh, the meat and the chicken. But to me, celery salt just adds a really nice uh, flavor to the things like meat and chicken. So anyway, so then I have I have the the, the beef and the chicken marinating. So now then I move to the shrimp, and you can use I use the cooked shrimp but you can use raw shrimp if you like. And uh, so then with it, I'll put a little teriyaki sauce, a little bit of lemon juice, a little lemon pepper. And then today uh, I have a habanero, pineapple habanero sauce that I'm gonna to marinate this shrimp in. And also in the shrimp, I put, put a little bit of uh, garlic in it too. So then, uh, so then we're uh, ready to let that marinate once that's I'll move on to the uh, getting the vegetables ready. Okay, so now that I've marinated uh, the meat and the shrimp, I'm gonna put that in with the with this others that, that I have done up. And uh, so this, what I'll do from here, I'll take and put this into the skillet and I'll brown each one of them separately. And uh, so that's uh, that takes care of that part of it until we brown it. Okay, so now that I have it, the meat is marinated, I'm going to I get, have a skillet heating here, and I'm going to put in a little bit of peanut oil. The reason I use the peanut oil is that you don't have any, uh, I mean, it's pretty much flavorless, which is what I want to accomplish. And so then I'm going to put this in here and let it brown. I'll let the meat, meat brown up. So now, the next thing I'm going to brown up is going to be the shrimp, and I leave the chicken to last, and I'll put it, I'll set it aside, and uh, so that I can bring the shrimp over, and I just use the one skillet. It's all going to, the flavors are all going to marinate together, and the reason I do this with the with my marinades and so forth, I, I just, I love flavor. I want all the flavor I can get, so now then, I'm going to put in the shrimp and let those brown up. And heat up a little and once those are hot I'm going to then I'm going to do the chicken so then I have all my my meat all finished up which now then the shrimp is is heated up and finished so I'm gonna take it out okay so now I got the shrimp out I'm gonna put a little more peanut oil in here and I'm gonna add the chicken and I want to brown the chicken up real nice. And uh, okay, so now I have that browned up. Okay, so I've already pre-done the chicken, so I'm just going through the show you the browning process here. And so it's already finished up, and uh, it'll be ready to go into the stir fry here. So I get that finished. And uh, then uh, from now we're gonna now I'm gonna move on to the vegetables. Okay, so now I'm going to the vegetables, and uh, so what I have is I have the carrots, uh, peel three carrots, and I'm just slice those on a. You can slice them however you want to, and if they get too big, I always just cut them up a little bit smaller like that. And uh, so the carrots, and then I have a red pepper. Uh, which I just slice up, of course, like this. And what I do is I'll either cut them like that for little smaller pieces, and then I'll have a green pepper, and uh, I'll do the same thing there, I'll slice it and like that. And then uh, I'll take an onion, and uh, I take the onion, and I just cut it in strips like this. And uh, I'll use one onion, white onion, you use white, yellow, and uh, like this. And then those will go into the into the big pot whenever I go to do it. And then of course the broccoli, I like some broccoli. And all these vegetables are are uh, your choice as to whatever you'd like to like to have. I would like I like lots of vegetables. Uh, my daughter has a gym and she's telling me all this stuff is healthy for me. So, but anyway, I like vegetables. And uh, so anyway, I got broccoli here, and uh, we have a and then the last thing that I add to it will be the uh, water chestnuts and uh, so now then and one of the things I kind of forgot here 
that I start out with is mushrooms. I throw those, I, I'll, uh, I'll take slice, uh, 16 ounce sliced mushrooms and, uh, and I'll put them in the skillet first because I like to brown them just a little bit. And that'll be the first thing, I kinda, that'll be the first thing that I do. I'll put those in there and uh, with a little olive oil butter and uh, garlic salt and garlic with the mushrooms, I'll let them brown up. And once uh, I have those in there and they're browned up nice, then I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and, and add more uh, peanut oil to, to the pot. So the vegetables are going to go in and I uh, better have a little bit more peanut oil just to make sure that I don't burn something up here. Now then, I'm going to go ahead and put all my vegetables in here and I'm going to let those heat up a little bit. I don't want to go off about to forget my water chestnuts. I don't want to do that. Uh, my wife Peggy just loves water chestnuts. I do too and everybody else. So now then, I have, I have this going. I'm going to put the lid on it. So now I have all the vegetables in. I'm going to put the lid on it and allow it to steam the vegetables just a little bit. And uh, I want to steam them just a little, not too much, because I want them to be nice and, nice and crisp. And uh, so now that I've done that, I have the rice I've cooked ahead of time, which you can cook at any time. I have a pot of rice here. So I'm going to put this big skillet on, bigger skillet, because I like to have room. So now then, put in a half stick of butter in here. And let, and then uh, with that, I'm going to add, add uh, the ham, diced up ham and some diced up onions and uh, of course this is going to be the, the beginning of the fried rice I'm making up and uh, then we're going to uh, I'll let that go just a minute there and then I'll it won't take long for it to start cooking and then I'm going to add uh, I'll let it cook just a little bit and saute and then I'm going to add three eggs to it before the eggs, I, I'm going to put in a little, I took a little bit of chicken and I've put it in there. I think that'll be good in that fried rice. I've never done it before, but okay. So now I want to stir the vegetables and I don't want them to get cooked too much, but uh, I'm going to stir them just to let them, like I say, I've been, I've been kind of I'm steaming them here in this pot and uh, so I just, so I'm going to stir those now. I need to go back and uh, my ham and my onions and uh, my chicken here is sauteing here. I think it's going to be be done up just about right. So now then I'm going to put three eggs in with this. These are chicken eggs. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to brown that up. Okay, so now then I got my ham, my onions, and uh, everything sauteing. So I'm going to mix these eggs in here. I got it. It's sauteing with the butter and and uh, everything. So now then I'm. Uh, Ready to go ahead and put put my rice in there to finish up making my fried rice, and uh, I'll go ahead and put a little bit of a. Uh, I'm gonna put just a little bit of soy sauce in here. Now flavor the eggs and the ham and the onions and everything a little bit right there, and uh, make those really good. And uh, so now then, I mean we're cooking now. Okay, now then I need to, I'm going to dip rice over into my uh, mixture here and uh, finish finish up making the fried rice. And this just depends on if your family likes fried rice or they don't. Uh, but uh, 
anyway, you can use however much, whichever. I usually use about 50-50 on the amount of rice that I make, just whatever. And usually I got more than a skillet here that I can, that I can uh, deal with. But, okay, so now then, I'm going to stir this up. And I want to put in the other half stick of this butter. The first time I ever placed made fried rice for the Japanese restaurant in Las Vegas. And the guy kept saying he was adding Japanese butter. And uh, being a dumb farm kid, I asked the guy, I said, do you import this from Jap Japan? He said, oh yeah, we don't use nothing but Japanese butter. So, <laughs> and he kept dumping more butter into it and a little more soy sauce. And it uh, turned out good. So I think this is just American butter here that we're using. And, uh, but it's, uh, it, it'll, hopefully it'll turn out good, and, and I think it will. And, uh, so when I get to this point, I'll, uh, usually add a little bit more soy sauce. And just kind of want it in there a little bit to flood it, you know, flavor it up nice. I don't know, that's the way he did it, so I'm just kind of following what he was doing. And, uh, that's probably been 40 years ago, 50 maybe, and, uh, but anyway, this is, this is going to be a fried rice. Okay, now I want to uh, check my vegetables and uh, make sure that they're doing okay. And uh, stir them a little bit. They'll come along nicely. I'll put the lid back on. I want to make sure I keep them crisp. I'm going to put in about another half stick of butter. using the American butter. <laughs> okay, well now I'm, I'm adding a little more American butter. God bless America. <laughs> so this will this will make it good. I mean you can't hurt you can't hurt anything with a little extra butter. And uh, so this is getting pretty much where we want to get to with this fried rice. So uh, I need to turn the heat down a little bit. And if you want when you're doing this, you, uh, you let it just brown a little bit. Put it there and brown, and, and uh, it'll all that makes it a little better, I think. Now, then, my vegetables have been steaming, and uh, and they look like as many as I have. What you what a person kind of wants to do is you may want to. I'm going to go ahead and dump a little bit of this uh, uh, juice off of it, uh, moisture from the from the uh, vegetables, a little bit of it. Okay, so now I'm, now I'm ready to add the, uh, this is the stir fry and the sweet and sour with a little bit of Szechuan in it, but not too much Szechuan because <laughs> I can always heat it up as I need to, but uh, so I put this mixture here in and uh, let it cook with the uh, vegetables of course and then uh, I'll stir it up good and then once I get this stirred up then I'm going to put the meat in with it and uh, before long we're going to be ready to enjoy this dish okay I'm going to add, add a little more rice to this because I know that my family loves fried rice so I want to make sure I have enough for them and uh, I can always add a little more soy sauce. I can add a little more butter if I think it needs to. And and what's happening if you it's browning on the bottom a little bit, which is what I want, because that really brings out the flavor and uh, get this all mixed up real good here and get that crunchy stuff off the bottom with that rice and the eggs and onions and, and uh, everything we have going on in here and get it browned up nice. And if you don't have enough of this, when you, people go to the table, you can always easily make more. It doesn't take much time to do that. So anyway, uh, now then I have, I put the, uh, the sauce in with the vegetables and I've got it marinating up real nice. So now then what I'm going to do is, uh, I'll add the meat to it and, uh, and like I say, I don't want this to go too long because I want I want the veg vegetables still be crispy. 
So now I'm going to dump the shrimp to it. I'm going to dump the chicken in here. Oh, you got a big piece of chicken here. Okay. But it'll all cut up and work into it. And then I'll dump the beef in. So we have all these. The, we have the meat, the veggies, all together. The fried rice is uh, coming together. And so now then the only thing I'm going to need to do is I'll, here in a little bit I'll sample this to see how spicy it is. And sometimes if, if you have people that don't like like any spice or whatever, you can, at this stage you can just take out whatever and uh, it'll be good. But if most times I go ahead and add spice but I don't get it too spicy. And uh, so anyway, uh, I'm going to give this just a little bit, just a little bit more butter. But anyway, the fried rice is, is finished, and um, and our uh, Szechuan Chinese is finished, so uh, it's it's ready to be plated up. Okay, we have the Chinese food plated up and ready to eat, but my parents always taught me that I should pray before we eat, and that's a policy that we have here in our home. So at this time, we'll say a little prayer and give thanks to the Lord. Hey, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Bless us, O Lord, and eat thy gifts which you're about to receive. Thy body be Christ, our Lord, Amen. Please help all those in need of our help and mercy, Lord. Hey, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. So the one thing I learned in the oil field, never let a good meal go to waste. So I'm going to clean this plate. See you next time at BJ's Cafe, where we believe in the four F's, faith, family, friends, and food. So like we say in the oil field, keep turning to writing.